I'm just trying to understand. When you when you said, like for example, in the list, Saddam Hussein. Isn't Saddam Hussein evil? See, what are you there. saying? I'm just trying to understand right, right, what you're saying. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to. It's of the same hold on, hold on. It has a sound. Wait, I'm, 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 just doing it. Order. Hold on. I'm trying to understand. America's propaganda. Will say, I'm not saying Saddam Hussein was an excellent person and he didn't do no, no, no evil too. But um, America, listen. Please. If I come back where I'm not on you, I'm on America here. America yeah. went in there to take his oil. First of all, America set him up against Iran. They gave him the chemicals and they gave him the weapons. Now, America went out of the agenda to steal everybody's oil. So, through the news media, they're going to say that he's evil because they want to take their land. But what is America doing around the world? Dropping bombs on people, stealing everybody's oil. Hold on, hold on, hold on. People gain freedom. I what? Don't see gain freedom? How? Huh? You know what a freedom is now? And first of all, in that country, they were Muslims. Okay. Now, when America goes in there, this is what America does. America turns the country into order. Women are prostituting themselves. Liquor stores are set up everywhere. Drug soap is in the land now. This is what America does. This is a homosexual. Let me not forget the homosexual and lesbian agenda. They put in these lands. So that's not freedom. That's America putting their wicked policy. So that propaganda. That propaganda that America, just what we're talking about, America is a great country. Just trying to civilize everybody else is a lie. Right. It's just the news media. It's propaganda. America is about stealing everybody's yeah, riches and turning like, everybody into a homosexual and a lesbian. I don't basically. know if I agree so, so with like, you fully, a lot, but like, I respect your opinion. Like Saddam Hussein. Like, 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 like Saddam Hussein and um and um a lot a lot of the leaders in countries abroad, a lot of them are working with the CIA. But then when America gets tired of them, it, 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 he, America pits them against each other or, or assassinates them. This is common knowledge, you understand? Then the brother brought a point about weakening the nations. Pornography, homosexuality are brought into those countries to create chaos. Meanwhile, the jackals and the wicked in this country come and take the oil and the money and the resources out of those lands. Right. Right. Yeah. One second. Give me, hold on for Give me Genesis. I disagree, uh, but I mean, I respect your opinion. You disagree with what, what we, all that we just said? Yeah. You don't read then. You read? No, but I was just trying to understand. No, this is what I'm asking you. This is what I'm asking you. Do you read? All right, I want you to get a book called um, uh, Confessions of an Economic Hitman by uh, John Confessions of an Economic Hitman by John by John Perkins. I want you to go and get that book around the corner, and you tell me if you disagree with what we say after that. You know what it is, and this is the same thing that happened with the Native American Indians. Okay, we're taught that Christopher Columbus discovered America. That Christopher Columbus came and civilized the Native American Indians. We're taught the agenda of America. First of all, the Indians was here first. So how could you discover something that people's already living there? Second, the Native American Indians taught the Europeans how to fish for themselves. They taught them how to how to all. Uh, take bats <laughs> well you really because they wasn't taking bats on a regular that's part of history but they're not going to tell you that so the native american indians taught the, the europeans a lot and then the europeans came in here and stole their land but you're taught because america wants to put up the agenda that they're so superior you're taught that christopher columbus civilized the native american indian see you know the problem with americans they're hypocrites you want to believe what you want to believe so that it fits you up. But America is wicked, it's evil, and the Lord is gonna punish this place. It's gonna punish this place seriously. That's why tornadoes, hurricanes, floods, and all type of disasters what about is hitting all the America. Attacks? I'm just asking. I'm just saying. A lot of that is a lot of that a lot of that is staged. A lot of a lot of propaganda. And like, like, no, no, I'm, 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 I'm trying to make you understand. Like the, like the situation in Boston. You got people who are paid to throw rocks at the cops to escalate that. Those, that's, that's, that's all testing grounds for what's going right. to come in the future. They're going to have more race. But wasn't that evil? Wasn't Boston evil? Right, but you're, but you're looking at but you're looking at the smaller part of the picture. You understand? The bigger part of the of the picture is that that's going to escalate, and they're going to throw a lot of blacks and you some of you whites in concentration camps. All that is going to happen. This is all. 
all the wars, it's all phony. All the presidents who have been elected, it's all rigged. They know who the president is going to be before right. they even yeah. have the, the, the voting. This is all a scam. That Wendy's is a scam. The MTA is a scam. You've been duped. You just don't read. You're not educated in what we're talking about. Right. Let me say something for a second. You know what the problem is? When you mention terrorists, right? Who's the number one terrorist in the world? Be real. Well, like, for example, what happened at 9 11. No, I know, you, I know, I know, I know you was gonna say that. I know you was gonna say that. You know, like the brother said. You know the problem with American people, like the Russians said. American people are stupid. The Russians said that. They believe. They, they watch television, and everything the television said, they believe. Now, they, do you have any, any any evidence that Ben Laden brought on the tower? I don't believe the oh, media. Okay. I make up oh, listen, 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 what he said. Calm down. Listen, listen, listen what he said. Do you have any evidence that the 9/11 was caused by Ben Laden? Away from watching television, do you have any evidence? Ben Laden brought From what I see. From what you see, from what? what? See. Through what? Through television, right? Right. Television right. was created to keep a mind of the truth, okay? Now, if you read the history behind 9-11, right? Do you know two weeks before the building, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm giving you something to think about, right? Before the building went down, two weeks, do you know the Jews, all the Jews would receive a letter at the home not to come to work the next day? As much as the Arabs ate the damn so-called Jews, you gotta tell me My that Ben Laden gotta have all of his men, right, to all of the Jewish people that, that was in the building, not to come to work, and also the the, 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 um, the train that was not going inside the tower. Three months before that, there was rocks. There was there was a lot of um, sound in the World Trade Center. They were called they were planting bombs on the east floor. Right. And according to his, according to the laws, when there's a terrorist attack in America. Automatically, the president is supposed to hide on a thing called a bunker. Every state in America have a bunker if there's a terrorist attack on the president in, in the land of a U.S. government. Do you know Java was still teaching the people now? The same, the same way when Clinton was teaching the people in Florida, the same thing happened. Now, in, in, in five minutes, they got 18, what, what, uh, uh, 18 hijackers, something like that? In five minutes. How the hell you got someone hijacking in 18 minutes, in five minutes? That makes no sense. You see what I'm saying? So there's no evidence proving that the World Trade Center was brought by, 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 um, by the Arabs. It was the U.S. government brought it down because first of all, John Bush, yes, it That's was the U.S. Fact. government. Miss, 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 there's evidence. There's evidence, man. There's evidence. And also, we got videotapes. Right. We got videotapes. Right. Exactly. Also, Listen. Miss, 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 miss. Also, do you know before the building, before the war, before 9-11, John Bush and Condoleezza Ryan, Colin Powell, and other, um, with this other guy, Secretary of State, whatever his name is. Cheney. Cheney. They went to England and they said they need a, they need a Pearl Harbor because they need to take over these land in the Middle East. And the, the, the Pearl Harbor was what? Was in the, was a building, the, the, the Twin Tower. They need a Pearl Harbor. Why they said they need a Pearl Harbor? Because when you look at the history behind Pearl Harbor, Pearl Harbor was attacked by the U.S. government. I know you ain't gonna believe that because they did not want to pay by the Japanese their money. Do you know that, Miss? America owed Japan billions of dollars for World War One. You didn't know that, right? So instead of the pain by the Japanese, the money, they said, listen, you know what? We need to test the Manhattan Project. The Manhattan, Pro Manhattan Project was a nuclear bomb. Fat boys, skinny boys, and, and the other one, I can't remember the name. So in order to do that now, they use the Pearl Harbor as a excuse by attacking Pearl Harbor by taking away the best ship and kill thousands of American, hundreds of American soldiers and blame the Japanese. So now America got a chance to test the nuclear bomb. And, okay? And, I'm sorry. I'm and, 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 with and, 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 You stand with America and, and, because and, and, you're stupid. And, and, That's what happened. Yeah, Everything yeah, America tell us. Me if me ask a question. No. Miss, me ask a question. I what respect your sky? opinion, Hold on. Miss, but I what don't agree. Sky? I'm not seeing an example. What color is the sky? Can I ask you a question? You gotta tell me blue, right? Because the white men tell you that. That's how stupid American people are, man. What about you, sir? What color is the sky? White? Excuse me, sir. What color is the sky? I'm, I'm, I'm quick. Listen, we show how ignorant American people are. What color is the sky, sir? What color is the sky? The sky. What color is the sky? Blue? You believe that? Hold on. The man, listen, hold on. The man said the sky is blue, right? If I put a gun at your brains to prove the sky is blue, you know you'll drop dead, right? Because the sky is not blue, the sky is white. It's a seaweed under the water gives the color. You just learn something. The sky is not blue. Because you read book and tell you, even history books do not tell you the sky is blue. But you're looking at the sky is blue. But the sky is white. By the time God, the Russians said American people are stupid. American people got all the damn degree in the world, and they tell the world that they're smarter. And they're more dumbest people, man.
Let me say something real quick. The reason why he said that she's stupid because denial. Okay, this Strong is information. Enough. This is information that she can look up for herself. Right. To believe.